fathers who taught before giving birth fathers who did everything they could to make sure that their children have the best of life they, they, they have the best of education they have the best of training they have the best of uh, upbringing we should celebrate those that no doubt about that okay now those who also never had any good uh, example of a father we should allow them on father's day now actually you're welcome we should allow them on father's day to voice their grievances out we should allow them to say the things they want to say we should allow them to shame people they, they want to shame who deserve to, to, to do who deserve to be shamed okay just as if it is mother's day we should celebrate the good mothers and the the bad mothers who also chose wrong fathers for their children they should be they should be they should be put to shame so that young mothers young fathers realize that Charlie it's not easy but Marcus you're welcome it's not easy if I if I pick any man and give birth to them during Mother's Day my children would disgrace me if I also as a man decide to be a useless father during Father's Day my children would disgrace me if we do this it will go a long way okay to put sanity into the business of child making business of parenting because it looks like <clears throat> that okay you're welcome it looks like there is too much irresponsible fathers irresponsible mothers in the system and it's all because nobody is talking about them especially on father's day yes right now can't get to see um tiktok the clubhouse and other apps both um responsible irresponsible fathers and mothers have been checked here and there even though it's, it's, it has not been easy but a day like this father's day should be a day where fathers responsible one are celebrated and then the irresponsible one are disgraced perfectly you understand and sometimes maybe somebody who has issues with the way his father or her father brought him or her to this world has issue with that the dad is not even alive so those people should be allowed to vent out but all you hear is and this morning it was all over tiktok some pastors quoting some bible quotations and uh, if you don't honor your father on this day your father can curse you it's a lie it's a lie it is a blunted lie the only fathers who can and have the power to curse a, a son or a daughter and it will work are the ones who took care of their children the responsible fathers they are the ones who can say that they are cursing their children and it may work because they were responsible they took care of their children and their children are not appreciating that even that okay so it should be a day we are going to use to celebrate amazing fathers lydia you're welcome it's a day we are using abeka you're welcome we are using to celebrate fathers all right but let's allow children who feel that jso uh you're welcome uh i pray this is the the, the jso uh, my favorite musician and uh, music producer anyway so let's allow these people who have issues about their fathers to also come out and stop using bible quotations to 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 corner them to 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 force them like they should once the day is for celebrating fathers even though their fathers were that uh, deadbeat fathers they should celebrate them i think that that is not helping that does not help one it does not help 
to 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 put the minds of these children to rest it continue it, it it continue to make these children resentful okay you join me in life to share your opinions uh mr alababa show you're welcome uh we've suffered today we've suffered today in the hands of our ladies who don't want to accept reality and and, and logic anyway yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so all that we are saying is that if the day is a day to celebrate fathers it should also be a day to shame irresponsible fathers okay when we do it that way children will also at a tender age find out why their fathers were not in their lives if it happens that the father had every resources and time to be in their life but decided not to do that because of abcd we shame those fathers if it happened that it was a mother who shielded the children from their fathers we should allow the children to come out to say it rather than using bible quotations uh, to 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 corner these children from gagging gagging them from um talking what is on their chest i don't think those things are helping because here that you're welcome alfred pa uh jesse uh you're welcome evelyn m you're welcome you understand user 24 you're welcome so let's try to use father's day to celebrate fathers and at the same time use father's day to shame irresponsible fathers one it helps children who have things on their chest against their parent it helps them to get those things out of their chest two it also um warn children uh young ones who are yet to become fathers to know that look henceforth if i bring children to this world and i'm irresponsible in their life they are waiting for me on father's day they will disgrace me they will be in the media to talk about how irresponsible i irresponsible i was recently we, we have been talking about how boys are killing women and all of that men are killing women and we are talking we, we most some of us especially on the men's boys podcast have been attributing it to the fact that there's been a lot of children miss bear you're welcome there's been a lot of children who grew up without fathers in their life and today as father's day is the day we need to also set a time aside to talk about this useless irresponsible fathers and then separate the the, the responsible one and celebrate them okay i think that we need to do that and if anyone um has issues anyone has issues with their parent we should allow them to come out and those who also have positive uh stories about their parent we should allow them to also come and share so that it encourages people it also make the, the, the those uh, responsible fathers uh feel appreci app appreciative forgive me um i have some small uh headache you understand so today we are not uh i will not i will not stay here for long i want to go and sleep anyway and then also send a signal strong signal to anyone who want to become a father but i was thinking of doing it anyhow okay because they have seen examples where even fathers who were not in their children's life not because their their, their wives shielded the children from them their children are forced by religious leaders to celebrate them rabbi you're welcome If you engineer, my boss, you're welcome. You're welcome to the Men's Voice podcast. And Boache, you're also welcome. So, 
um if you want to join me to share if you have uh, a dad that you want to celebrate come up request and let me bring you up and and share if you also have not too good story about your dad the the floor is open request come up and share it so that those who who deserve to be celebrated are celebrated those who deserve to be uh, to be shamed are shamed you see we are trying to um i don't know how to how to how to start with this but it's like we want to kill me um the act of rewarding people based on merit meritocracy that's how they call it meritocracy we want to kill meritocracy please those of you joining um please tap the screen for me we want to kill meritocracy where people are rewarded because they have done something good the reason why i'm saying that we want to kill meritocracy is that the moment you tell me that even though my dad did not play his role in my life i should celebrate him anyway you want to tell me that the father who did everything some fathers go to court to lose all their money just to be in their their children's life okay please tap the screen for me and share some fathers go through a lot just to be in the lives of their children so you want to tell me that those fathers should be judged on father's day those fathers should be judged the same as the fathers whom after pregnancy they didn't want to have anything to do with their children bigger quiz you're welcome so you can you can request and then um, come up to share your story about your dad the good the bad and the ugly okay so the moment we we go like oh it doesn't matter what about if he doesn't he didn't um uh what she says bro i understand but a father is a father yes nobody's saying a father is not a father but but the worst thing that can happen to every child is to have one of the parent outside of their life it's not like they are dead when they are dead we can't blame them but those that were alive no no i can take care of you if you are my father and you are alive i can take care of you but on father's day i will not i will not celebrate you i will not post you that is that we should let people face consequences we are trying to live in a world where there's no consequences for bad behavior for so many things yes Quincy, uh watching i've talked about that maybe you, you have you had not joined me yet at the time I've, I've spoke about there are some fathers who wanted to be in their children's life but their wives prevented them because of some bitterness it happens a lot those ones if you have such a situation come out and call out your mother and celebrate your father okay we should we should we should be at a point where we make people be cautious of any step that they are they are, they are making any attempt that they, they want to do and that can only happen when at the same time as we are celebrating the good ones we shame the bad ones because there's a saying that evil strives when good people sit down aloof and do nothing watch it um you're welcome okay so if we just box anyone that donated a spam into the group of um, a father that needs to be celebrated then what you are telling the fathers who were going to work even when they were sick just so their children will eat um you're welcome mr let go okay if we try to put all fathers together the fact that he gave his his his, his sperm 
to someone please if you want to join me just request and uh, come up and let, let, let let's have a conversation Quino Andrews you're welcome if we try to say that oh the fact that he donated a sperm he gave a sperm to a woman to bring a child to this world therefore he's a father and therefore should be celebrated then what we are telling other and Tim you're welcome all we we all that we are telling the responsible one the ones that even when they were sick they had to go to work they have to work to make money to take off their children those that even though their wives were preventing them from being in the lives of the children they had to go to court to fight to get custody of the children we are telling them that they were stupid they didn't know what to do with their time and their money and i think that wouldn't be fair towards them okay so watch it that is all that i'm saying watch it says i'm a i'm a teacher and some of these mothers tell their children not to love their fathers i know watch it i know let me bring you up okay watch it i've i've, I've invited you so request uh, accept and come up and let's have a conversation i know i perfectly know about what you're talking about and that is where we use these days to call them out okay so it shouldn't which it shouldn't be like oh vivian you're welcome it shouldn't be like uh, on, on 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 father's day anybody who spams ended up producing a child is a father that needs to be celebrated a father who gave birth to a child not because the mother didn't want them to uh take care of their children not because they did uh, 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 they wanted to and somebody prevented them because there are some fathers who actually brought children to this world where they they knew at that time they couldn't even feed themselves jerry justice you're welcome okay there are men who knew at the time they were having sexual intercourse with a woman they knew they were not qualified to be fathers because one they could not even take care of themselves they could not buy food for themselves they didn't have a a, 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 a a befitting place of living but these people went ahead to have unprotected sex with women Okay, and then this woman that they have the children with also didn't even Lozino, um, you're welcome, Doris Chuma, you're welcome. This woman also did not have anything to even support the children. So most of the children end up on the street and they end up becoming armed robbers, becoming other forms of criminals, social deviants. And somebody will say, who cause them? Who cause them? That is why I am saying we should practice meritocracy on the day of Father's Day and Mother's Day. So that those who deserve to be celebrated, we give it to them. Those who don't, Ama Bambi, you're welcome. Those who don't deserve to be celebrated we call them out what that does is that it motivates those who are willing to help their to be in their children's life continue to do it because they are appreciated prince says sometimes responsibilities will bring out the best on you but it's god to be it's good to be prepared yes you understand so please if you are if you're ready you want to join us request and come up share your story if you had a good daddy story share it with us okay and if you have a deadbeat father 
that you want to talk about and because of that there's something on your chest even you're welcome you're welcome to a request come up here and then let's share it out what we shouldn't allow is for some pastors to use bible quotations to uh threaten people if you if you don't uh celebrate even your father who deliberately did not try to be in your life uh this will happen to you and that will happen to you oh watch it you can come without switching on your camera when you request naturally it doesn't come with your camera it you it is later if you want to show your camera then you will do that okay so these days we are seeing a whole lot of result as uh, uh, um, uh, we are seeing a lot of cases as a result of children who grew up without fathers okay I've done a video on YouTube where I was showing statistics from the US talking about 80 to 90 percent of prison population in the US are from fatherless homes 60 to 70 percent of teenage pregnant girls are from fatherless homes Prince says, what the topic really about? The topic is about we using Father's Day as a day to celebrate responsible fathers and a day to shame irresponsible fathers. That is what we are talking about here. As against, we making it look like on Father's Day, anyone that donated a sperm should need to be celebrated. No. Childbirth is a selfish endeavor. No children ask anyone to give birth to them. So when you give birth to someone that you did not consult, you have no right to make their life here miserable for them. You know, the, the, the fact that some fathers did not participate in the life of their children, that alone can destroy some certain children. That alone can make certain children criminals to start with. Well, I have been doing it, watch it, I've been doing it all the time. I always say it that it's not every every woman that gave birth that deserved to be to be celebrated. A woman that gave birth and then dropped the child into a dustbin. <laughs> I I you, you, I, there's nothing that you can do for me to celebrate such a woman on Mother's Day. Prince, it's a, a multifaceted uh, problem. Some fathers were not able to be in their, their children's life because of their mothers. Yes. And some mothers were not be able to be in their children's life because of the fathers. So that's what we are talking about and that this will make people know that childbirth is not it's not it's not uh child's play it's not a joke so nobody should just start trying to have children anyhow it's a serious business and that if you are not ready don't go into it you will not be arrested if you come to this world. Because you're welcome. Nobody will be arrested if you come to this world and you didn't give birth to a child. Nobody. Nobody. What she says, but mostly men don't try to have children, but women bring them up. I, I don't I don't get what you're saying M mostly men don't try to have children but women bring them up uh, I don't know 